Hi guys, today we'll be covering the holy grail of plating, which is plating on plastics. This can be achieved through the process of electroforming. There are plenty of electroforming kits on the market, but the majority struggle to plate to a commercial standard, producing results that can be difficult to polish with a substandard grainy finish, but our products will give you a professional result. Once you're wearing the correct PPE, have worked out the surface area of your item and have all of your equipment ready, begin by spraying conductive paint at a close distance to the item so that it goes on nice and smoothly. If you spray from further away, the paint will go on gritty. Do not worry if details on the item appear to be buried at this stage. All details will return once the paint is dried, which takes around 60 minutes. Be sure to remember when you're electroforming articulated items, to move the item joints uh, just after doing the painting so you can cover any bare spots. This might involve several drying stages. Use wire wool to strip the copper wire of any oxides. Then, form pincers from the copper wire to carefully grip the item at the point where it hangs. Next, use more copper wire and create an outline of the item, which we will call a rubber wire, as this wire will rub excess current from small areas and corners that could otherwise burn. Your rubber wire should be ideally positioned just a few millimetres away from the item. You need to take special care to ensure that you have a loop of wire orbiting any protruding or sufficiently raised areas. This wire should be connected to the hanging wire. Twisting it tightly into place should be fine. Next, lower the rigged item into the electroforming tank at 0.035 amps per centimetre squared. With the electroforming kits, all of the issues surrounding polishing are taken care of and the end results are strong, durable and thanks to our Miratex system, no polish is required at any stage. Your items will come out of the tank with chrome levels of shine and you will have a truly metal feel. For more information on the Miratex system, please see our website. You should then leave the item in the tank for a minimum of three hours, although six hours or more is common. Revisit the tank every 30 minutes to move the item slightly within the wire that is clamping it. This will help to break any minuscule bonds that may form and will prevent your wire from fusing to the item during the process. You can also use this time to move any articulated joints that your item might have to allow even coverage and to prevent the joints from fusing in place. Using deionized water and a spray bottle, thoroughly rinse off the entire item. If the item is hollow, be sure to rinse out any trap solution. Do this as quickly as possible, preferably within 60 seconds, and then progress immediately to the next step. Leaving the item in its rigging, nickel plate for five minutes. Just as before, rinse thoroughly, making sure that there is no trap liquid. Do this within 60 seconds and move immediately to the next stage. Quite often with plastics, they have a grainy texture molded into them. You might want to be mindful of this because uh, you would probably want to sand it back before you spray your paint. Alternatively, you might want to leave it because it will give you a different texture and sometimes that might be what you're after. It's up to you. Next, lower the item into the gold tank. Continuously sway the item gently within the tank and plate for two minutes or more, depending on your desired thickness. Finally, rinse the item in deionized water. Then, remove all of the wiring carefully and dry the item. You can now handle it directly as the plating process is complete and it's now time to admire your handiwork. So there you have it. We've shown you how to plate a plastic item through the process of electroforming in eight easy steps to produce a unique gold-plated version. Although we've electroformed plastic today, you should note that this process can be used on a multitude of other surfaces. These include ceramics, 3D printed surfaces, and with the use of a sealant, fabrics, wood, and other organic items. Please see our website for more details. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Hope that you enjoyed our video. For more tutorials, check our previous video where we answer the commonly asked question, how do you plate aluminium? Click the link below. You can also connect with us via social media and through our website. Again, it's all linked below. And don't forget to like the video. Thanks guys, see you next time.